We have been building a coral garden for a little less than two years now. And at the end of the video I will share with you how you can become a part of it. But first we're gonna show you how an introduction course to coral conservation looks like with Simple Life Divers. Alright, we got our students here. Hi, I'm Tilly. Hi, I'm Toby. And we have our instructor here. Him. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lucas. Uh, I'm instructor here with Simple Life for about five years now. Got into the island five years ago and I was meant to stay only a couple of months to do my uh, uh, IDC and become an instructor. I like so much the living style here that I stay more than five years. He's a great instructor, but don't tell him that I said that. It's time to go to the classroom. We're going to spend around two hours here. Those two hours will be divided in two parts. During the two hours of classroom time, you're going to learn everything about coral. Different types of coral, how the coral reproduces, coral propagation, fragmentation, coral growth, benefits of coral reefs, also threats to coral reefs, how to pick the best location for the artificial coral reefs, and how important the coral is to our ecosystem. This is of dead coral, and then some pieces of living coral that would be good recruits uh, to get on the structures. Also, we're going to teach how to plant coral and what equipment you're going to need. Fun fact, corals cover 0.0025% of seabed, and they still produce half of the oxygen that we breathe. All right, we're just finished with the classroom. We're gonna have a lunch break, come back, sort out our dive gear, and then go underwater. The first couple of years I was here in 2017 and 2018, the corals uh, were looking very, very healthy. When we were diving in winter, the water temperature was dropping pretty low, which is a good thing for corals, around 25, 26 degrees. But right now in 2020 and 2021, this water temperature has raised quite dramatically here around the island to a point that uh, in winter time, we don't have the water getting uh, lower than 27 or 28 degrees now, which is actually a very bad thing for our corals. During the underwater part, we're gonna show you the coral that we planted almost two years ago, the coral that we planted a year ago, and the coral that was planted a couple of weeks ago. At the beginning of the dive, we will show you where we harvest the coral. We can only use coral pieces that were damaged during the storm. After harvesting, we will give you a quick tour of our little coral garden. Unfortunately, due to current Thai legislation, students are not allowed to touch any coral. You guys can help us by carrying the mesh bag and some tools, but only the instructor is allowed to attach the coral to the structure. When the course was developed, the idea was to allow students to handle the coral, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. Fun fact, some of the structures that were dropped almost two years ago have attracted some coral spores and now there's coral growing on those structures even though we didn't attach any coral pieces ourselves. Depending on your air consumption, the dive may last anything between 60 to 90 minutes but the time will fly really fast because there's a lot to do. Yeah, you drop down there, you get to the street and say, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't dive anymore. I can't so. dive anymore. I don't remember what to do today. <laughs> you have fun? Yeah, it's really fun. That was so difficult, but really good. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll look at people. <laughs> we really went. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, the course is incredible. incredible. Really, really good. Very informative. Really fun. Learn a lot. Yeah, definitely. I've been I've been coming here for 15 years, sort of every two years. Definitely noticed it it, it changed because of climate change in that in that time, the bleaching of corals and, and stuff like that. And the level of dead corals in the more shallow waters, there's definitely been more of that. The the more we've come. Ten out of ten. Nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> No, I really love yeah. Lucas as an instructor. Um, it was a really great balanced course in terms of the questions that he asked us um, and the interactions that we had. Um, he was very knowledgeable. 
At the moment we have close to 100 structures and almost 1500 pieces of coral are attached to them. You can become a part of our project by making a contribution. Depending on the size of the donation we can attach a couple of pieces of coral or cover the whole structure. All the contributions will go towards building the coral garden and support the staff looking after it. Once the coral is attached we will keep track of it and provide updates throughout the year. If you do want to try out Yucatao and do the coral conservation course but don't know how to scuba dive, we can teach you. You need to be at least open water level and depending on your experience we might ask you to do a buoyancy dive. We just want to check your buoyancy and make sure that you're not gonna kick our coral around. You can find more information about our project on our website allotment.com and if you want to learn how to scuba dive contact us on simplelifedivers.com in the next video we're gonna show you how our open water course looks like.